Hey everybody, it's Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another video in our Bold Grid tutorial series. Okay guys, so today we're going to show you how to install Bold Grid through the Softaculous Installer tool. Now, previously you could use Softaculous to install WordPress and then install the Bold Grid plugins separately. But we now have a custom tool that lets you do both simultaneously. So we're going to show you how to do that today. Now, right now, if you look at my website, it's a standard brand new website. There's nothing there. So what we're going to do is go in, install Bold Grid, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. First thing you want to do is log into your cPanel. And I've already done that here. Okay, so we want to find the Softaculous tool icon. Now, there's a couple ways to do that. The first one is to just scroll down until you see the software category. And then Softaculous Apps Installer is there. Give that a click there. Or if you want to shortcut it up here in this search bar, just type in Softaculous. And you can see it narrows it down and shows you Softaculous Apps Installer. Either way, give it a click and it takes you right in. Okay, so when you come into uh, Softaculous here, you're going to see the big bold grid icon right here. Now the best thing to do is just hover over that and click on the install button and that takes you right to the install screen. I right, so we have a form we need to fill out here. The first thing is the protocol. Now if you take a look at it, you have a few choices. You have HTTP and then HTTP with www, HTTPS and then HTTPS with www. Now the trick here is if you don't have an SSL certificate installed on your account, then you don't want to use HTTPS yet. So you can use the HTTP or HTTP www. The difference there is just if you want the www to show up in your domain name. Uh, I prefer not, so I'm just going to go with HTTP. And next you have your choose your domain name. It's going to start off with your primary domain name here. If you have more than one domain name on the account, you'll see a list. Now if you click on it and you see an IP address on there, do not install it on the IP address. That's just an extra thing that uh, Softaculous detects. Always do it on a domain name, not on the IP address. Next is in directory. If you want your Bold Grid website to be on your primary domain name, as soon as you type in the domain name, it goes there, then leave this blank. If you have something else there and you want to put your Bold Grid site as a separate section under a folder like slash Bold Grid or slash blog or slash anything, then you would type that here. For instance, if I want to put it under slash test, so my really long domain name here would be bgsoftdemo1.bullgridtest.com slash test, then you just type the word test in here. Now the folder cannot already exist. If it does, it's going to yell at you, so you have to create a folder name that does not exist, or you need to go back to the cPanel and delete the folder, and then put the name there. We're going to go with nothing, so it works out nicer. All right, going down to site settings, you have the site name, whatever you want to call your site. Uh, you can call it my blog, you know, Joe's Widgets, whatever it's called. It's just a very informal name. It's nothing technical. It's exactly what you would show on a sign if you had a brick and mortar store and you had it outside. Next is site description. You can think of that as a tagline or maybe a subtitle. Uh, it could just be my WordPress blog like it is here. Uh, it could be, like, for instance, if you have Joe's Widgets, it would be the best widgets on the web, something like that. So whatever you want to put there. Uh, the multi-site enabler, do not use that for Bold Grid. And let's see, go down to admin account. Now we're going to create our admin account here so you can log into Bold Grid. This has nothing to do with cPanel, has nothing to do with your AMP. This is a separate admin for your Bold Grid. So give it an admin username and password. Do not name it admin because that's just what everybody does and it's very easy for hackers to sniff out. So call it something else. And then the password, you want to make it nice and strong. So let's give it a username. We'll call it master user. And then admin password. Now you can create one. Or you can click on the key here. It'll generate one for you. And it's pretty strong. It's a 60. It has to be at least 40. So if you create one, um, you can start, start with this and, and add to it. Let's create a nice one here. So you can see my socks are red is pretty strong as a 74. Um, sentences like that are easier to remember. They're actually pretty hard for code crackers to sniff out. They sniff out individual words through a dictionary attack. A sentence is almost near impossible. 
It's just as good as any other password that's randomly generated with all the characters and stuff in there. So the admin email, put an email address in there that you can be contacted by by the system. This is by Bolgrid or WordPress. It's not by anybody else. So no one's going to see it and sell your information. This is just strictly for you. So if you get a new subscriber or there's a problem, then it's going to email you and say, hey, we have this going on. So make sure you put something there that's legit. Down to language, it's going to default to English. It's the most widely used, but you have plenty of options here if you speak otherwise. Okay, so after the install completes, the next step is to log into the admin panel and enter your key. Now, if you don't have a key, you select the option when prompted that you don't have a key, and it'll generate you a key. So down here, select that you already have a key, if you have one, or we'll obtain one through the form in the WP admin panel. So pretty much everybody's going to select this, and you're good to go. So after you've done that, go down here and hit the install button. All right, so congratulations, we are installed successfully. So if you see this, you did everything right. If you didn't, you'll have a little error. It might tell you to go back and change something on the form, usually making your password stronger or you know something else like that. But uh, here we are, we're good. We can go view our website and refresh. All right, so we have a standard WordPress install right now, which, you know, seems like what? You told me we we're doing bull grid. We are, but when you start off, it is a standard WordPress install. But if we go inside, let's go to the admin section here. Okay, so when you come in, you need to enter your key. Okay, go ahead and agree to the terms, drop the key in there, and submit. All right, then it's gonna ask you to go ahead and add bull grid staging. We will do that. And if you go to plugins, you'll see the bull grid plugins in there. You also see the dashboard menu has changed. You have inspirations, customize. So it is now using the bull grid version. So you can tell bull grid is installed. So even though my site is still a default WordPress site, it's ready to install my bull grid inspiration. And then you can take off from there. Thanks for joining us for our Bold Grid tutorial series. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any questions or comments you have so we know what to bring you in future videos. Thanks and see you next time. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.